This is Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by the WBO number one super middleweight, unbeaten Zach Parker. Zach, how are you? Yeah, all good, mate. Just had Christmas off and uh, now back at back at it, training that. So, yeah, all raring for 2022. Now, we last saw you in the ring just in November, so not too long ago. Devastating performance against Marcus Morrison. Um, yeah. Someone you were expected to beat, if we're being honest, but no one's really done to him what you did, certainly not recently. How do you reflect on the performance? Yeah, I think it was a good performance. And I think people... Um, noticed it a lot more than my other two fights in 2021 and uh, yeah I think I think it was a good performance um, I had a couple of little mistakes but um, yeah I think I got him out in good fashion once once I had him uh, um, I just put put uh, my like put the like thing on him and then uh, then he couldn't he couldn't handle the body shots so yeah it was good good performance and there's been talk more recently about a WBO interim title fight with Canelo indicating he wants to move up to cruiserweight for his next fight. He's got all the belts at the moment, of course. What's the latest yeah. on that and, and you competing for the interim belt? Yeah, um, I think WBO ordered, because I think to me, Sandra was meant to be coming up and WBO ordered it. And um, I don't think he's like meshing back or whatever. So now I'll, I'll probably be moving forward for the interim, maybe against like the number three or number four. Um, whoever that is, like that he's got that Idigov is a Russian 20 and 0. So there's a couple there's a couple of names out there being being passed about. But um yeah, I'm I'll be I'll be looking forward to getting the interim world title and um in maybe eight, April time. It looked as if, and I know you mentioned this as well in the press release yesterday, that Andre thought that he'd be able to step straight up into the mandatory yeah. position because WBO have that rule but you're already in the position. I know previously you were kind of leapfrogged by Canelo who, who moved yeah. up and did a similar thing. Are you, you must be pretty happy that WBO have backed you on this. Yeah, definitely. Um, they back, they back me and obviously I've been mantra for like the last two years and mm. uh, with the help of my team, Frank Warren, obviously Neil and that, they've pushed it to say he can't, he can't leapfrog me. He's got to fight me first if he wants to get into my position. So yeah, I'm um, very happy with that and thanks to like WBO and all my team for getting that over the line and um, yeah, the, the future's bright for me. Obviously, if he does come up, then me and him will have to fight for the interim and then probably the winner will face either Canelo or unless he vacates. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a good year for me. And people often talk about Andre as a fighter who is avoided um, and, and fails to nail down those really big fights, but it doesn't appear like yeah. you were about to avoid him. No, I'm not avoid. I'm, I don't want to avoid anyone. I want is a it's a big name, isn't he? I want. I'm in this. I'm in boxing for the big fights. Um, why, why would I? If he's coming up, why would I want to avoid him? He's, he's just a boxer like me. He's just a normal man. So yeah, like I said in one of my interviews the other day, um, if everyone calls him the big man, I must be the problem because I'm the problem in a way. But um, yeah, I, I, I feel like I'm a problem for a lot of people uh, in super middleweight, and uh, it's shown because none of them want to step in the ring and. Um, put it all on the plate. Is that what you think with Andre, that he kind of maybe took a look at some of your videos or looked at your record or whatever it might be and thought, yeah, I don't fancy this? No, not, not that. I think he just wants, obviously he's looking for a big fight, uh, isn't he? So, and he probably thought, oh, I'm just going to go straight up, straight into the Canelo fight. And uh, when WBA ordered, like me and him fighting for injury, he's thinking, Oh, maybe I'll just stay. I've got a title already at middleweight. I might just stay and try and get one another big fight at middleweight. So, yeah, I think I think he's just looking for a Canelo fight, and um, obviously the WBO avoid was to, and he probably didn't didn't want another fight like like against dangerous guys like what pe people don't don't really know, um, as well as like obviously you get the big fights like Canelo and Charlo and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's just I think he just wants the big fights, and obviously it didn't work out for him. Now, another person high up in the WBA rankings is David Lemieux, but it looks like he's going down the WBC route against Benavidez. I'm assuming yeah. Lemieux is a fighter you'd have relished because it seems style-wise that that would be great. Definitely, like um, I think we asked him. I think we even asked him for the last my last fight uh, to fight, and then um, I think he like priced himself out of it, and then obviously he's gone um, for the Benavidez fight for the final eliminator WBC. So, yeah, it's, if Obviously, if he if he 
that like, puts himself out of that. I'm I'm ready. I'm here and willing to fight him as well. So there's a lot of big fights since Super Mario. Um, it's a red hot division, and uh, yeah, I'm relishing any, any, all comers. So just have to wait and see. Talking of big fights at super middleweight, there's one taking place on the 12th of uh, February uh, with John Ryder and Danny Jacobs coming over to the UK. What, what do you make of that fight? Yeah, yeah, I think it's a good fight. Um, obviously, both later on in uh, in their careers, and mm. yeah, I, I, Danny Jacobs. I think he was number two, like before he, he was going to fight um, John Ryder in the WBO. So it, that was another fight. What we was looking at. Um, I'd, I'd be buzzing if, if I was fighting them sort of like fights because they're big names, aren't they? And uh, I'm I'm a lad what needs these big names now because people ain't going to take notes of you if you don't get these big fights. And yeah, Dan Jacobs be a, a really good fight. And I'd even go over to America and um, put my name out there as well. So we'll just have to wait and see um, if he wins. If he wins against John Ryder, which I think he will do, uh, I'll, I'll be more than willing to go fight him next. Uh, great stuff. Now, in terms of your next fight, it looks set for April 23rd um, in yeah, Derby. Yeah. You must be pretty delighted yeah. about that. What What's the actual venue? Yeah, it's um, it's the Velodrome. It's like a biking arena. And uh, I think they've called, I think they called it um, Derby Arena now. So, yeah, it's, I, I can't wait to be boxing in front of my own crowd. I ain't boxed in front of my own crowd since I turned pro. Um, I've always been like away in a different like county or whatever. Obviously, my, I think my closest one is like Birmingham or Cannock or something. So yeah, it's be good to get in front of my own crowd and show obviously showcase that like what Derby's all about on uh, national TV. And is it likely to be the WBO interim title fight next, or will that wait until the summer? Uh, I don't. I'm not too sure. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, obviously, um, WBO said I think they put it out saying. Um, that I've got to go now if it, if Andre ain't fighting, Zach's got to go ahead and fight for it. So that's what we're hoping for. And uh, there's a couple of names out there. Um, like, like Idigov, is it Russian, 20 and 0. So yeah, be, if it means him for it, that'll be a good fight. And um, if, uh, someone's always got to go. So be set out for a good fight in it. So just have to wait and see though. In, in boxing, nothing changes. And one, one minute, oh, the fight's on uh, for the interim. And the next minute, oh no, you just got to defend your own title so we'll just have to wait and see how desperate are you at this stage for those big fights not even for the title shot but just about getting a marquee name opposite you because you're a great talent you're you know beating yeah. these opponents without any problems seemingly you must yeah. want a big name so your profile goes up as well yeah that's, that's what we're aiming for obviously the, with a bigger name more people are going to say oh yeah it is actually a talent um, no everyone knows it everyone sees it in the gym how good I am and um we're just waiting for these names to actually step up. But at the minute, none of them want to step up. So what I'm meant to do, I'll just have to fight whoever they put in front of me and uh, whip, like beat whoever they put in front of me. Um, it's all you can do in boxing, can't you? You can't like um, wait around for people. Otherwise, you, your career is going to go, isn't it? So, yeah, I, I want these massive fights and hopefully they get made in 2022. And I'm with the right team, obviously, um, Neil and Frank Warren. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we're going to make these big fights. Do you think the title will help? Because obviously being WBO number one doesn't seem to have been enough so far to entice yeah. these big names to take the risk against you. Do you think the title will make a difference though? Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, interim world title, uh, it's a bit, it's a big title. And uh, you, if you have that, you're definitely going to be going against the world champion soon. And um, obviously, we'll have to wait until see what Canelo does with his titles and see what, if he's going up to Bruce weight or if he ain't because I've heard like a couple of different things um, obviously I think it's going to box I think I've heard of him box, saying he's going to box Charlo and if that fight's uh, going to get made is he coming, going to call super middleweight as well uh, so we'll just have to wait and see uh, a bit, some exciting fights out there especially over over the pond and uh, yeah I can't wait to get in there What do you expect Canelo to do regardless of whether he goes up to Cruiser or fights Charlo do you expect him to give up the belt anytime soon or some of them uh, I don't know, you know, you know, because uh, I, I think, I think I'm the next one in line for who's going to be like pulled up for the mandatory. So right. it's either it's even me or Benavides, I think. So we will just have to wait and see. I'm I, if he don't want to box it super midway, if he's going to go up to light heavy or cruiser or fight Charlo somewhere, um, I'm open. He vacates, so the other lads can get a chance at it. And uh, yeah, and if he vacates, us like win titles, then he can come back down and see if he can go again at it. 
we have to you don't know in boxing especially if Canelo he can do whatever he wants because he's a cash cow he's, he's a money man isn't he so we'll just have to wait and see what he's doing then we'll go from there I suppose if you win the interim title in the meantime and Canelo does vacate the likelihood is you'll then be upgraded that's it yeah but obviously we don't want to go just like upgraded then everyone's saying oh he ain't the proper world champion stuff like that I want to be fighting these top names I'm one of these guys who actually wants to get in there with these big names and they, they no one's put it up on, on, the, on the line so uh, I'm, I, I don't avoid no one I'm, I'm like I'm 100% confident in my ability and my ability to beat people so yeah we'll just have to wait and see and uh, hopefully we'll get some massive fights and especially if we get some big fights at Derby um, there's a couple of big fights out there Obviously, middleweights coming up, um, stuff like Andre and that, and just like Chris Eubank fights still there. Uh, um, there's a lot of big names there. Yeah, so while you know boxing fans will know who Andre is and, and even Danny Jacobs, surely a fight like Eubank Jr., he's not as high level as those guys, but he's a domestic opponent. That's the sort of fight that yeah. could fill Pride Park, potentially. 100%. That would definitely fill Pride Park and I bet every Derby fan would want me to knock him clean out, wouldn't they? So, <laughs> yeah, so we'll just have to wait and see. Obviously, I think he's got his, fight. He's got his hands full with um, Liam Williams at the minute. Um, it's going to be a hard fight for him and um, made him the best man win out of them two. Both good fighters. Uh, hopefully, oh, I think, in, in my opinion, I think Liam Williams may just beats him, but if it, if Chris Eubank does win, uh, there's a fight there uh, at super midweight when they'll probably get Canelo. So um that's that's like what's up for grabs, isn't it? He, I think he said a couple of times that he wants to fight Canelo. So we'll just have to wait and see. And what's the latest on uh Wayne Rooney walking you out for the next fight? Yeah, obviously it's in Derby, isn't it? So it's even gonna be Wayne Rooney or we'll get Rami the mascot uh walks out, something like that. <laughs> so is that Rooney Ro- 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 imagine though. losing to the mascot? Let's 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 hope Rooney wants yeah. it as well. So. That's it. Um, it'd be good. It'd be good to get him. Obviously, walk me out. It's it's massive, and it's massive in English football. And uh, is one of my like heroes watching watching England that back in the day. So yeah, it'd be amazing for the Derby manager to come and walk me out. It'd be amazing. Have you got a home game on that day? I've not even looked before because obviously dates go up and down, and I think we, I think we're going to look at the venue either today or tomorrow. And uh, see where we go from there. Obviously, um, see how many it holds when it when it's all flattened out because it's like a it's like a barking arena. So it's like it needs flattening out and that. So we'll just have to wait and see. Next next couple of weeks, I think we'll know more about it, and then we'll go we'll go from there and probably get an opponent. And that. You must be absolutely delighted though to finally get a go with Derby after so much, you know, plying your trade yeah. under the radar and uh, all around the country, and now you get to yeah. go home. That's it. So. This last year has been one of my best years in boxing. Obviously, I've been inactive before this. And then last year, I had three fights and ended the year on a high against Marcus Morrison. Now, now Frank's going to put me out there in front of my own, own crowd. So, yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing with it. And obviously, I can't thank him all well enough for all my team. Obviously, BCB, um, Frank, Frank, and then Neil. So, yeah, it's good. And we're, it's, it's, all, it's all systems going in it at the minute. So, that is great to hear. All right, well, I'll let you go because I'm sure everything's very busy for you at the moment, but really appreciate yeah, yeah. the time, as always. And, um, yeah, and I'll, you, we'll have another chat once you've got an opponent and, and well, the date's done, so just when an opponent's lined up. Yeah, nice one, mate. Cheers. Cheers, mate. You take care.